Hi there, Roger with K&M Precision Shooting Products. In this video, we're going to review three aspects of our neck turner. We're going to talk about the neck turner cutter orientation, how to install a pilot in your neck turner, and the course adjustment of the neck turner cutter up to the pilot. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the neck turner cutter orientation. The cutter itself is a square shank cutter. There's a lead angle on that cutter that will always be positioned towards the end of the pilot. Picture it as a cartridge coming onto that pilot and the shoulder matching kind of the lead of that, of that cutter. Second thing we want to take a look at is the actual cutting action it happens on the center line of the pilot or the cartridge and you're rotating the cartridge in a clockwise position just like you would a drill or if you're inserting a screw. So the cutting action happens on the back side here, not the front side. As you rotate that, the chip kind of comes off the back. So that's the cutter orientation. I guess another point to maybe make, make note of is any of the newer cutters that we have uh, will have the lead angle laser etched on the top surface, which is the top surface that matches the logo side of the neck turner body. Next, let's talk about how to install the pilot into your neck turner. Had you purchased your neck turner from one of our dealers, there's a good chance it would have come without a pilot in it, so you'll have to make that installation yourself. It's pretty simple. All of our pilots have a flat ground on them. That's for the screw to clamp on. It's this clamping screw inside the body right here down in this recess. So you'll simply slide the pilot into the neck turner body, aligned with that screw, snug up the screw. At this point, don't worry about the position of the pilot. That's something you'll take care of a little bit later when you're doing the setup of your tool. The last thing we want to talk about is the cutter tip and making the course adjustment of that cutter tip up to your pilot. So again, if you didn't have a pilot installed, you'll have to do that. Or if you change from one caliber to another, you'll have to make that adjustment. The first thing we want to understand is what the mechanism of our adjustment and cutter tip is. So when you pull that out, you'll see that you have the, the cutter that's square, you have threads on the opposite end of it, and you have the adjustment nut that has threads on the outside, threads on the inside. So it's a thread inside of a thread system. And once all three of those threads are engaged, you have about 40 thousandths of, of uh, cutter tip adjustment. That's why you always have to bring the cutter within that range of the pilot before it, uh, you can make your fine motion. So the easiest thing to do is to thread this cutter into the adjustment nut so that the square is about equal with the end of the, of the threads. And then you're gonna reinstall that back into your neck turner body in the proper orientation. Gotta get it underneath that washer. Okay, once you have it underneath the washer, apply a little bit of inward pressure, rotate the adjustment nut counterclockwise. Make sure it's counterclockwise, because what that is doing is moving this cutter tip at, at a rapid rate. You'll see it move, and once that cutter tip gets within, say, 25 to 40 thousandths of that pilot, now rotate the adjustment nut clockwise to re-engage the threads back into the blue body. Now every revolution of this adjustment nut only moves this cutter tip two, ten, two thousandths of an inch. Every tick mark revol revolution here moves the cutter tip two ten thousandths of an inch. Well, thank you for watching. That's our review of the neck turner itself. Please visit us at kmshooting.com.